Inverters. There are two types of inverter generally available on the market. There's a standard string inverter, like either of these that we have here. Fantastic inverters for nearly every application. The inverter is the brains of the system, it changes your power from DC to AC, it controls that power, a very important part of the solar system. Now SMA are the Mercedes of inverters, been around a long time, renowned throughout the world as the best solar inverter. And then we also have Ziva inverters, owned by SMA, it's more cost effective than an SMA and it allows us to give you, for the same price, a flexible and future proof solar power system. Over time, what we've learned is that clients that we put a solar power system in, inevitably, they love it. A year later, they come back and they say, could we have more? The kids have grown up, we're using more power. Could we add some panels? Historically, if we've put in a three kilowatt inverter and three kilowatts of panel, we've had to say, sorry, you need to change the inverter. With the Ziva inverter, it allows us, because of its cost price, it allows us to provide you with an inverter that's larger than the initial system. For instance, we could put in a three kilowatt solar power system with a five kilowatt Ziva inverter for the same price as a three kilowatt system with a three kilowatt SMA inverter. This means that in a year's time when you ring me and you say, Roy, we need some more panels. I can go, no problem. Put another four panels on. You've got a five kilowatt inverter. Now, micro inverters are a different animal again. What a micro-inverter is, is instead of the string inverter, which controls a whole array of panels, 20 or 30 or 40 panels, all controlled by one inverter, with a micro-inverter, every single panel has its own inverter. Now this has some really interesting uses. One of the main uses for micro-inverters, without getting into the science of it, if you have a massive array of panels and you're using a string inverter, and if one panel at the end gets shaded by a tree or a lamppost or a chimney, what happens, the electronics of your string inverter drop the performance of that entire array of panels to match the lowest performing panel. One inverter under every panel. And what happens is that that panel then becomes a standalone energy producer, what we call open architecture. So if one panel gets shaded, you only lose the production of that one panel, not the whole system. So in a shading situation, we would recommend micro-inverters rather than a string inverter. Now, naturally, because you're putting one inverter per panel, a micro-inverter system is more expensive than a string inverter system. That's just logic. But offsetting that by moving to a micro-inverter system, we find, and it's proven internationally, that a micro-inverter system will produce up to 16-18% more power than a string inverter system for a number of scientific reasons that I won't bore you with right now, but again on our website you can find those details. So you really do get payback in that situation where you may have shading. However, if you've got the perfect roof, lovely big roof, no shading, lots of area for panel, string inverters, Fantastic option, string or micro. Many people have homes where you may not have a big open north facing roof where you can have lots of panels and no shading. You might have some north roof, some west roof, some east roof, and we might put panels on all those roofs. Micros are a perfect solution for this situation. You could have three panels on one roof, two on another, 10 on another, and because they're all standalone, that system will perform to its top performance. When you deal with Solar King, the big differences are that Solar King are registered master electricians and we can advise you on what best suits your situation.